I'm uh, Tom O'Halloran. I'm the director of the Chemistry of Life Processes Institute. I'm also the associate director for basic science research in the Robert H. Lurie Comprehensive Cancer Center. As an institute, it's probably the first one that has its own structure. So we were we were asked to design a, a new building, uh, which is now Richard and Barbara Silverman Hall. Um, and this would be the home of the institute. The idea would be that it would hold uh, representatives from chemistry, engineering, and biology, we all cooperated to design the building, even though we have very different disciplines and work styles. We came to common themes for laboratory structures. We agreed on an open structure, and that structure has been implemented and inaugurated. I think one of the most important hallmarks is that about 20% of the building is reserved for shared resources and facilities and cores. And this is extraordinary because each department in each college, has three colleges and, and, and seven different departments so far, needed the space for their faculty. But we as a, a whole agreed we would do better if we shared some facilities and kept them. Because it's part of the genetic code to promote interdisciplinary research. It was a very accepting environment to have a person come in and work in the chemistry department but have a joint appointment in biology. And that type of culture was here long before I got here. And what you know, the real exciting opportunity was to build upon that and really take huge advantage of the fact that major discoveries are not always happening right in the center of the canonical disciplines. It's happening at the interfaces between chemistry, biology, medicine, engineering. The CLP faculty have been very interested in what kind of opportunities can be opened up with the uh, computational resources that are available throughout the country, especially through Starlight. So we've met with Joe Mambretti. We've also dealt with Bob Taylor. Bob is collaborating with Tom Mead now to build out our data visualization center, which is an integral part of the new Center for Advanced Molecular Imaging. And what we're very excited about is, is bringing optical fibering through the entire CLP Institute into the labs, into the imaging centers. Each of these different things that I've just mentioned require really intense data transfer. Um, so the imaging facility, for instance, can generate terabytes of data in, in a one overnight uh, experiment uh, watching uh, a tumor be attacked by, say, a nanoparticulate drug that has been designed by, by some of the engineers or the people in the uh, uh, CCNE, the nanotechnology centers. And so to follow that data and then look at three-dimensional information and, and follow it in real time with volumetric rendering that has quantitative data in, in, at each volumetric element is really intensive on data and computation. So. We're very excited about the possibility that this becomes a central teaching tool, not only for our graduate students, but for our undergraduates, for the fellows at the medical school who are going to be using these imaging modalities with human patients. We really need to bring together data visualization people, data processing, the scientists who develop imaging modalities, the biologists that have a central question that is unresolved and that will will really make a major leap if they're given access to these technologies. And that's what CLP is all about. It's very much in the theme of, as I said, of Northwestern's genetic code. And I think this is one of the exciting things we have making of a perfect storm between the institute, the people, the talent that we can recruit, the access to resources, to the matching funds that come from the Vice President for Research's funds, the type of resources that were enabled by the uh, Silverman uh, discovery of Lyrica, the high quality graduate students and fellows that we bring in, all coming together to really make Northwestern uh, one of the leading places in the world to do scientific research.